Hello and welcome back to my channel and it's day 9 of my book a week. Now I'm going to be talking about all the mystery and thriller October releases for this year. Let's get going. So my first book is Hot Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. Three months ago, Elena Negrin's estranged twin sister Cambrian drove to a remote bridge 60 miles from outside of Missoula. Miss Maria met Montana and jumped to 200 feet to her death. At least that is the official police version, but Lena isn't buying it. Now she comes to the very bridge driving in her dead twin's car and armed with a cassette recorder determined to find out what really happened by inter interviewing the highway patrolman who allegedly discovered his sister's body. Corporal Raymond Reeseming has agreed to meet Lena at the scene. He is sympathetic, forthright, and professional, but his story doesn't seem to add up. For one thing, he stopped Camry at for speeding a full hour before she slowly leaped to her death. Then there is the 16 attempt at 911 calls from the cell phone and made in what was unfortunately a dead zone. But perhaps most troubling of all, the state trooper is referred by naming Camry's final and enacting text to her sister. Please forgive me, I couldn't live with it. Hopefully you can offer some may reach. Lena will do anything to uncover the truth, but as the twins, twins' final hours come into focus, Lena's search turns into having to the nail fight for her own survival, one that will test everything she thought she knew about her sister and herself. My next book is The Unfinished by Shel Isaac. The black water has been waiting, watching hungry for the souls it needs to survive. My small town athlete Everest morning run leads to her strange pond in the middle of the forest. She awakens a hall where the townspeople of Crooks Falls have long forgotten. Ellen can smell the water, seeing a flooding everywhere. She thinks she's losing her mind. And as the black water haunts Everly, taking a new from each time people in town begin to go missing. Though Ellie had heard her whispers of monsters from her Kenyan Kekaha Mohawk relatives, she never really connected to her anything in the genius culture or understood the stories, but the illness she has distanced herself from now may have the answers she needs. My next book is Now Comes the Mist by Julie C. Dale. Lucy Western Nightmare is beautiful witch and loved by three men. Every inch a lady, but beneath the sparkling flirtatious facade, she is fascinated by death, which is talked to throughout her short life for her. The dead do not slip away easily as they do for her best friend, Mina, Damon Jen. When Lucy departs from Whitby, her nightly sleep walks into a certain mysterious blood, who seems to see parts of her she has never let show before, who embodies all the values of her society before Vlad makes in every century he seeks out the perfect women of the age, who embodies all the values of her society to live with him, with him in mortality. And Lucy could very well be this woman. For the first time, she feels herself able to share her darker side with someone. Thinking herself, she agrees to cheat death with him. When Vlad finally appears in the light and is aboard the ship, covered in corpses, he toys with Lucy and mocks her in her meanest presence, and one day he trains her corpse to arrive right before her eyes. He is a vampire, a monster ready to take her. He expects a good Victorian lady, appalled by his darkness, a victim, but Lucy is only in rapture. When Vlad reacts with violence, Lucy has no choice but to fight for her agency, even if it means giving up her humanity. And her torment to a still fight, she is no easy opponent. So this is a Dracula retail, so it will be exciting. My next one is The Hollow and the Haunted by Camellia Reigns. Sixteen-year-old Miles Warren hauls from a long line of sidekicks. Reign resigned to a life in a not especially profitable family business. Miles is perfectly happy, except for the part where he's constant, constantly exhausted from long nights digging up graves, hiding his sexuality from his family, and unable to fulfill his dream of going to an art school one day. Perfectly happy. But Miles' comfortable routine is interrupted when he has promotion of a violent supernatural murder. He soon discovers that the victim is not that Gabriel Hawthorne, who is suddenly have a mysterious decades long feud with Miles' own. Gabriel is everything Miles except from a hardcore mood, snobbish, and irritatingly good looking, but Miles isn't just going to stand by and let someone murder him. The two form an uneasy alliance, trying to solve Gabriel's murder and prevent it from taking place. My next one is The Debutants by Olivia Woolley, and I almost just fell if you see me kind of stumbling. <laughs> for the new Orleans you like, the Les Max Bell is sure to be a social event for the season, if they can avoid another dead queen. When the Benton Margaret Landry was found dead the morning after her reign at last year's ball, it was a tragedy, but not a shocking one. 
Magdalene was a wild child with a selfish, destructive streak. Nothing like this is Queen Lily Bell Blanc. When the perfectly poised impudent on the throne, everything is going according to plan. Until the ball is hijacked by a mysterious figure in a jester costume. That night, Lily sent a text to three of the maids in her royal coat, her best friend Lillian, her boyfriend's sister Piper, and April, her former family, asking them all to meet the next morning, but Lily never shows up. On the surface, these three deviants don't have anything in common except the exclusive private school, and a ties to less marks, but soon the village where Lily brought them together, something dark is lurking beneath the glamorous surface of the deviant world, and it might be the reason she disappeared, and the other girls the and the further the girls think, the more they begin to suspect the migrants that may not happen next to that, and that Lily may be next. My Jester starts planning to expose their own secrets on th these, this unlikely trio must team up to uncover the monsters behind a bloody glass mask before they're left with another dead debutant. Okay, those are all the thriller mystery books I, that are coming out for October. Let me know what you're interested in, and if there are any October releases I have missed, comment down below. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't forget every time I post, and I'll see you. Bye!